guys so today's video is a highly requested video of mine and that is my makeup collection i really hope you enjoy it so this is my main desk area and i know you can see me in the mirror but just ignore me and the camera there was no way of filming this without me being in it um, but i just wanted to give you like an overview of the whole area so basically this is the desk. On my desk I have a kind of copper theme going on. And firstly is this lamp which is from Homebase I think. I think it was only about £20. Then moving down to this brush holder. I probably should have cleaned my brushes before I did this but oh well. Um, this is from, what's it called, Dunnell Mill and it says the world is your oyster and I just really liked it because it's got like this little rope thing and it matches my lamp um, and it's a really big pot so you can put like anything in it and I also really like the motto on it. Moving on to my lipstick, I don't really think I can show you guys all of them. Um, if you want me to do kind of more in-depth tours of all of this stuff um, then do let me know but basically I'll just let you know kind of what order I have these in and show you a few of my favourites. So as you can see all these are black. All these ones here are my MAC lipsticks and then I've got all my gold ones. These are so pretty. Most of these are Clarins and then I've got Charlotte Tilbury, L'Oreal, Estee Lauder and stuff in there. Um, and then this final one and I've got these lime cone ones here. Um, the MAC uh, limited edition. I'll show you guys. It is in the shade, what is it, dark side. Like how insane is that packaging. It's just this really gorgeous dark colour. Um, I don't know if you can see it that well there. These two lipsticks are from The Balm and then the rest of those are from Colour Studio which is an amazing new brand. Their lipsticks are amazing and such good quality for the price so you should defo go check that out. Oh yeah, also I've got a load of MUA ones which um, are a pound from Super Jug. So a real mixture of lipsticks there. And then behind my lipsticks, ignore me in my dressing gown, I have this mirror which um, is copper trimmed and I just really like the shape of it. I think I'm gonna put it up on the wall behind because there's nothing there. But yeah, I love this mirror. It's from notonthehighstreet.com um, and it's just got this gorgeous copper trim which of course goes with my stuff over there. Then we move on to this little section where I have some more really dirty brushes um, and some rings. These are the brushes that I use kind of every day. These ones are like eye brushes. I've got some tweezers in there and stuff. Um, those really need a wash um, but not as much as these. These are like my face brushes, powder, blusher um, and yeah just Real Techniques, Nancy, um, Zoeva, all sorts of brushes in there and they are in these little marble pots which are from H&M Home and a matching little ring holder so I've just got a load of rings in there um, I just thought it looked pretty and then they're on this book which I should probably actually use it's a uh, naked diet by Tess Ward but I just really like the aesthetic of it so yeah that's what's on top of my desk uh, below my desk I just have this little black uh, storage thing which I sit on and the most exciting part of this storage is this drawer which is kind of like my daily makeup drawer so I shall take you through that. Okay so the only thing about this drawer is that it doesn't pull out very far so a lot of my stuff is kind of you know back there but I'll try and show you the best I can. So all of these little uh, divider thingies I got from Ikea I think they're actually for cutlery. These ones are just like separate uh, little ones and then I've got the big trays um, I think they're like two pounds. Oh, and actually this desk, in case you're wondering, is from Ikea as well. In this gap down the side, not that interesting, but I've just got my Zoeva kind of brush holder there. This is for the Zoeva um, rose gold brushes. And then first of all, I have lip liners. 
got some Clarins, Lord and Berry. I actually really love this one at the moment because it's nice and dark. NYX, oh yeah, this Rimmel run, the Exaggerate in, what is it, East End Snob, I think. I really love that one. Some MAC ones as well. Then next up we have uh, kind of primers. So I've just got this Benefit one down here because I use it every day. We've got the Professional License to Blot. Um, Too Faced Eye Primer, the Lime Crime Eye Primer, this little one which is Smax Factor I think and it's really good, that's the Vital Radiance one and there's a really <laughs> nice dirty <laughs> Beauty Blender, which is for like the eye area. Then we have some tinted moisturiser, so the Benefit Big Easy and the Rodeal Skin Tint, which are really good for wearing on holiday. Now for the back, and that is mascara. So this whole tray. This one's a really weird one, um, and I can't work out if I like it or not, but it's the Mega Effects from Avon, um, and it's kind of a really weird applicator. I love the colour of this packaging. Uh, this one is the Rimmel Wake Me Up. My favourites are kind of down this end, so the Maybelline Lash Sensational, um, Lancome Hypnose, and this new one which is the Velvet Volume from Max Factor that is very good. I love all the mascaras that are kind of shaped in this kind of tube, you know it's going to be a good one if it is shaped like that. Then for convenience I just have a load of little kind of eyeshadows in here, just mainly Clinique. And then we've got this, what's this, uh, Bourjois Intense Smoky, a little Rimmel one. Um, so yeah, they're just kind of minis that I can like take out and take with me or just use if I'm wanting to do a really quick eyeshadow look. Then here I have a couple more kind of mini eyeshadow palettes. This one is from Clarins. They're kind of like metallic -y packaging. At the back here we have some powders. So they're mainly translucent powders. This one is the Vici Derma Blend Powder. I think I've got a um, Naked Skin from Urban Decay in there and then a Bare Minerals one down here. Then we have concealer which I love. So we've got Benefit, Boing, Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer which I love. This one is my favourite at the moment. It's called Amazing Concealer by Amazing Amazing Cosmetics. I've never came across it but I think it was in my Look Fantastic beauty box or something. Then we've got Rodial, uh, this stuff from Benefit I recently discovered. Lauren from Benefit told me about this and she was like, oh my god you need to try it. And I have and it's amazing for like underneath your eyes and for helping like eyeshadow stay on and stuff. Liquid concealers, this Clarins, the Perfecta Estee Lauder, this one is for when I'm a bit more tanned. And this one actually, this is from Home Bargains, it's the Tea Tree Concealer by Attitude. It was the first ever concealer I really started wearing and it's actually so good. Then behind that we have my kind of everyday foundations. So this is the one I'm using at the moment, the Hello Flawless from Benefit. Then I've got Estee Lauder. Bare Minerals, Bare Skin one there, and a Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Now finally on this side we have eyeliner, so literally all sorts of liquid and pencil in here. My favourite Rimmel Exaggerate liquid eyeliner, this really nice kind of blue one from MUA, a couple of sharpeners in there, and then we've got like Tarte Clay eyeliners, I think they're called. Benefit, they're real. Um, the Topshop one, which I actually really like, their liquid eyeliner. It's really nice and fine. And then a couple of those kind of felt tip ones. This is the Extreme from Collection. Behind that, we have eyebrow products. Um, so this is the one I'm using at the moment. It's just the Clarins eyebrow pencil. Amazing, I love it. Um, Benefit High Brow, use that every day, as well as Benefit Gimme Brow. What's this? This is the Kaylin. Oh, this is from the Love Me Beauty Boxes. The Isla Brow Gel, um, the Isla Oil, which is supposed to make them grow more. Oh, another one of my favourites, the Soap and Glory Arch de Triomphe Bare Minerals Brow Powder in there too. The final kind of little section you can't really see, and it's not that interesting anyway. Basically, um, it's just all the products that I haven't opened yet and put places. Um, there is this Too Faced Melted set. 
Um, oh, we've got some Clarins fixing spray in there. Just a load of products in there that I haven't got around to opening. Next to my desk, I have this little area here with some Muji drawers and some more brush storage. It is just on this little chest from Danelm. This is kind of in keeping with all the furniture in my room. So here I have a candle from Next, which I haven't burnt yet just because it is so pretty and I don't really want to burn it, but it smells so nice. Behind that I have this Too Faced Chateau, which has a load of makeup palettes and the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara inside it. On the top here I have this little don't really know what you call it, storage thing, which is from TK Maxx, and I have a load of brushes in here. Got some eyelash curlers, some little brushes, these really cool ones from um, Bare Minerals, which have this little bit in the middle. And then here I have my little camel, which I got from Dubai. I just thought it looked cute with this. Um, and then my fake plant from Ikea. And now we are on to my Muji drawers. So in the top we have bronzer. Rodial Too Faced. I really like this. It's a mini version. The Too Faced Chocolate Soleil one. Um, a personalised hula. Uh, this is Clarins. In the next drawer down we have some blushes. Art Deco. This one's actually so pretty. Let me just show you. It has this little snowflake in it. The balm, these two blushes I absolutely love. Um, and then some sleek palettes in there. This one we have brows. So we've got the 17 brow kit, um, Benefit Browsings, Brow Pal from The Balm, and How to Make Brows Well from Essence Cosmetics. In the bottom, we just have some eyeshadow palettes. So I've got like a million eyeshadow palettes from Sleek. I absolutely love these. They're the Eye Divine palettes. And then this one from Claire's, which I actually really love. I got it at Christmas time, and it's got so many gorgeous kind of metallic-y shades in it. So onto some more Muji drawers. These are in my shelves just above my desk. Um, so yeah, it's basically full of makeup and hair products and all sorts. I apologise for the reflection in these. At the top I've got all my Too Faced Born This Way foundations because they sent me every single shade. Then in this drawer I've just got drugstore foundations, the Maybelline Superstay, Bourjois Healthy Mix, BD Trade Secrets, NYX, um, and what's that, Essence. Below are more kind of high-end foundations. So we've got Dior, um, Clarins, NARS, Glow and Ray, um, MAC and the Benefit Powder. Then in the next drawer is Powder, so the Rodial Powder, Clarins, this one is my favourite, the Clarins Mattifying Powder. MUA, NYX, Soap and Glory under there, Bourjois, um, and the Collection Lasting Perfection, which is also one of my favourites. The drawer below that, I have all my highlighters. Um, so these two are my favourites, the Benefit What's Up and the NARS Stick in Copacabana. Um, there's a couple of liquid sleek highlighters, a NYX one, the Cindy Lou Manizer from The Balm. In the final drawer I have primers. This one is from Too Faced, it's the Hangover Primer, which is amazing. It gives your skin such a nice dewy look. Got an Olay one, a uh, Benefit underneath there. This works, this one's really good. Um, Monu, is that how you say it? Moving along we have some drawers and I've got more makeup in here. This drawer is a bit of a palette mania at the moment and I actually just shoved this Hangover Squad um, eye mask which goes with that new primer I just showed you in there. I kind of need to sort this out. This is the Colour Studio blush palette. Then we've got the Too Faced Chocolate one back there. A couple of the Balm palettes. Uh, some more Too Faced. The Maybelline uh, Nude Palette, uh, Naked 3 in there, and then we've got Sleek underneath, and I think Clarins underneath that, but it's so hard to show you just because they're all stacked on top of each other. In the drawer below that, I just have a load of eyeshadows, mainly kind of single eyeshadows. Um, so we've got Bella Pierre, W7, Sleek, Clarins. I absolutely love these pots. Look at that rose gold. Topshop. Absolutely love that colour. What's this one? Oh yeah, 17. These ones are pretty cool actually. It's like a single eyeshadow. They've got like four different colours in there. Then some cream eyeshadow pencils. So we've got some from NYX. 
collection uh, Charlotte Tilbury. Back here is glitter. So I've got a couple of glitter lips there, um, which are amazing. I don't know if I've put any pictures up of these. They're perfect for festivals and things like that. And then I just have these loose uh, glitters. Finally, back here, I've got a load of just mini glosses. So there's some from W7 in there and mini lipsticks. Look how cute those are. They were in a uh, beauty advent calendar from W7. And then I've got a load of these amazing lip tars from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. A mini Burberry lipstick, which is so cute. Moving along to this little box. I have a couple of drawers here which contain blushes. So yeah, there's Lolly Tint from Benefit, Glow and Ray, Essence. This one in the little velvet pouch is a Clarins blusher. This Milani one, which I'm loving at the moment. We've got MUA, NARS, a couple of sleek ones there, another Milani one. And then in the top, I've got most of my Benefit ones. The Too Faced blusher, which is in like a heart shape, which I love. Benefit, um, Majorette, Soap and Glory, there's a Clarins one. Then on top, I have these two pots, which I'm sure everyone has. <laughs> They're from Ikea. Um, and in this one, I have got lipstick pencils is that what you call them i don't really know lipstick crayons these are from the balm and collection laura geller avon and then in this one i have my lipsticks which um don't fit in all of these uh holders down there i need to buy another one so i can put all these lipsticks in there they're kind of the colorful ones um so ribble um maybelline my final makeup drawer in here we have <laughs> Oh dear, I should have put these dirty sponges at the bottom. A load of beauty blenders and the beauty blender solid cleaner. Some more lipsticks that don't fit. And then a load of Too Faced bronzers. They're all in this uh, gold medallion shaped packaging. Absolutely love that. Um, a palette from Estee Lauder just because it's gold and it goes with that. Um, and then we've got some more eyeshadow palettes from Glow and Ray and BD Trade Secrets in there. And then at the back, some more eyeshadow palettes um, from Collection, and I think those ones are from Glow and Ray as well. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you comment below. And I will see you very soon. Bye!